Hey guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today I am doing a fun challenge run, uh, something that has been um, suggested by one of the mods from my channel, I think you could old YouTube chat, uh, a few times. I have done a version of it before, possibly more than once. It's a recurring thing I've done. I've obviously done like the all Bardock team, uh, like challenge videos and stuff like that before, but. This one is one that comes highly requested, so we are doing the All Forms of Gohan uh, team video. So, obviously we have the Kid Gohan, we have Super Saiyan Gohan, who then will can transform into Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 4, uh, Ultimate Gohan, who obviously has Beast in the active skill, and we have Future Gohan as well, because I figure... You know, why not include future Gohan as well? So, in the process, we are essentially incorporating all of the forms of Gohan in this run. Um, and we should get to see them all as well. Because not only did I think it would be pretty good thematically for the video, right? For us to be taking on the Red Ribbon um, Red Zone Cell. Because, you know, Gohan versus Cell, right? Um, makes sense not just from the Cell Saga, but also with the End of Superhero. So I thought this would be a good stage. Uh, also, because we're fighting an android enemy, it means we actually are going to get to transform with AGL Super Saiyan Gohan into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan before the end of the video. Because I would probably, even if we win the run, I guess I would consider the challenge run a failure if we don't transform into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Because then technically we were missing out Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the run, from the challenge runs, right? So now I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because... Despite the fact uh, that all of the units on the team are under the 200% leader skill um, and the fact that we uh, are using the Goku family support memory, one of the things you have to bear in mind is, uh, for example, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, who's on rotation here, um, we obviously don't have a team full of great 8 power allies, so he's not going to be getting his damage reduction. So, even though I'm putting him in slot 1 here, essentially just because we're fighting against a tech enemy, um, he's not going to be as good defensively as he usually is on his teams. So, he's probably going to end up just being a third slot floating unit, because he does still get the defense raise on super from his passive. So, like, post super attacking, he's not going to be the worst unit in the world. Although, as we get closer to the end, he could potentially get killed by a super attack. Um, so we are going to have to be very careful. Um, and then AGL Gohan um, obviously is an infinite stacker. So he is going to be uh, hopefully stacking up to a decent level by the time we get to the very end. So uh, I think since you still have your guard, we should put you in slot one. Because worst case scenario, obviously, is we get super attacked um, in slot one by Cell. So I think what I'll do, actually, let's get the 12 key super. Um, so we can potentially get the stun again, and then we'll just grab these. I want to try and play it safe in the early turns as much as possible, because uh, obviously whilst we, I'm not, you know, I'm using a support memory already, so I'm perfectly happy to go ahead and use items uh, during this run, but I obviously don't want to take too much damage right at the start, and then uh, be on the back foot for like the entire run essentially, so... We should be uh, in a good spot here. We're going to finish them off with Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. As long as you pick up the full 7 orbs, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan can be pretty good because he gets the damage reduction with 7 orbs obtained. Um, okay, so he's just Saiyan Warrior Race. Of Saiyan Warrior Race and Fierce Battle. Wow. Wild. Crazy link set here for uh, our boy Ulma Gohan. So you still have your guard though, so we'll do this. And then we'll do this. Okay, so depending on where we get super attacked, if we get super attacked, um, we'll pretty much determine how well this turn plays out, I think. Oh, wait, no, both of them were on turn one, weren't they? So, yeah, he doesn't still have his guard. Getting both Gohans and Piccolos on turn one is so annoying because it means the next time the one that you float off comes back, they've lost their guard, which is... Uh, very unfortunate. In terms of the longer events, if you want the best utility out of them, ideally, really, you want one of them on turn two and the other one on turn three, because then they keep that guard for as long as possible. But it is what it is. Um, oh, he can be stunned too, right? Yeah, okay. 
Um, it honestly, it baffles me. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but it does honestly baffle me that they allow so many stages of this cell uh, red zone stage to be stunned. When you think about how like you can just completely lock him down if you do that, which is. I mean, I'm not going to complain, right? It's obviously going to make this a little bit easier for our uh, somewhat janky team. But I will uh, I will take it. <laughs> now, obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan only stuns for the duration of the turn. So Cell is unstunned now. But can we stun him again? Come on, Gohan. No stun with Kid Gohan. Double Super, though. So we're getting that stack on his... Um, his defense because he is an infinite stacker as well also agl kid gohan does have that nice heal support um pass uh, sorry active skill that we can use hopefully later on to good effect not only gives us the heal but obviously gives everyone on the rotation a defensive buff and of course lr ultimate gohan despite getting 24 key not getting the additional super which is of course the additional super is the one the 12 key super is the one that he can actually stun on so do we die from... Does he just kill Gohan here? Whew, close enough. Jeez. All right. Um, okay. So, we want to get more stacks with AGL Gohan. Um, I really want to get the KO screen for Beast Gohan. So, we actually get to see like proper, like proper Beast Gohan uh, as much as possible in the video. Um, but I do ideally want to get that closer to the end. So... Fortunately, all of his attacks are weighted towards the back end of the turn, so we should be okay to finish him off here. Um, nice crit from AGL Gohan and the additional. Let's go. All of our, like, if they're infinitely stacking defense, give me as many additional super attacks as possible, and then we will be looking good. Because Gohan, I'm not sure how many times this Gohan has super attacked, but he must be getting close to being fully built up if he's not already, so... Who do we have next? AGL cell. And this cell can double super, which is not ideal. Um, do I pop the heal here? That's going to give AGL Gohan his guard in slot one. And then potentially he'll, potentially he'll get the stun as well. Because this phase, I believe, can still be stunned. Yep. So, yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. So we'll use Kid Gohan's active skill here. This is going to give us a heal. It gives everyone on the rotation a defensive buff. But it also gives the Kid Gohan himself guard for this turn. So he's obviously going to be in a pretty good spot here. So we'll go ahead and do this. Um, not a lot of key for Ultimate Gohan, unfortunately. Although, again, his 12 key can stun. Every unit on this rotation can stun. Even though Super Saiyan 4 Gohan is obviously only for one turn. So, of course, he goes ahead and supers in slot 1. But we've got the guard. Yep, yeah, we've built up a pretty decent amount of defense already. So... Fortunately, that doesn't do a lot of damage. I think if we hadn't used the active skill, we probably would have just died. But there you go. We get the stun. We lock him down. And we should be looking good here. I think we healed above the HP restriction for transforming into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But I do still want to try and save that for as long as possible, right? So we can get as many stacks with Gohan. So he should still be stunned. Yes, he is. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. And then we get these for you. And these for you. Obviously on this team, um, you do kind of have to build around LR Ultimate Gohan. If you want to be getting his 20 key or even 24 key somewhat consistently. Um, and of course, with this being like a, you know, a challenge team, a theme team. Um, it's not really the best setup for uh, him to be looking his best, but... You know, he's still able to put out good damage. He's got good defense. Um, you know, putting out over 11 million here. Attack stat. Uh, didn't get the additional from the hidden potential, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure mine is built full additional and then the rest is in dodge. He has like 20 something additional and 10 dodge, I think. Because um, there's not really much point in giving him crit. Um, although I suppose, to be fair, getting 24 key is not that common with him. So, you know, you can't on the one hand say, like, oh, you know, he doesn't need crit because he's got super effective. But the super effective is quite difficult to get sometimes. So, look at this. 511k for Kid Gohan. 600k for uh, our boy Ulma Gohan. What links do you guys share? Well, they actually have an extra link. So, it probably is just better for you to be in the middle. Plus, we get all this uh, 
physical key for you. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're back to full health as well. I wonder if we are. Are we actually gonna? <laughs> are we actually not gonna get the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan transformation? That would be a little bit unfortunate. Um, I really hope we kill him this turn, you know, because the Dokon attack next turn would be kind of a waste. So. Gohan, I got you your 20 key. In return, I expect to see the additional super, please. Bro, come on, really? <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? Alright, there's the hidden potential one. Okay, that's fine. But, man, when you don't get that additional super on the 20 key, like, it feels so bad. <laughs> At least we get the stun as well, so there's no chance that we die here. The only problem is, are we gonna be able to kill... Doesn't look like it. Another double super from Kid Gohan, though. His defense is going to be climbing now. So, we love to see that. Double stun as well. And then Super Saiyan 3, Gohan. It's not going to be good enough, I don't think. Double, double. Ah, oh, bro. Um, can I even end the turn without getting a super? Oh, I could do the... I guess I could save one of the uh, special beam cannons, right? Because I could just use this one. What's Gohan's defense? 429k. See, I want Gohan to stack more, but the Dokon attack now would be such a massive waste. So, yeah, I think I think we do this, right? The Dokon attack now would be hugely wasted. So, let's get our first uh, our first glimpse of Beast Gohan in the uh, in the challenge run here. Obviously, one day, uh, hopefully not too long, I would like a playable Beast Gohan, but. And whilst it's an unpopular opinion, I'm not that fussed that it's only an active skill because it's kind of representative of how little he's even in, he's in the movie. It's like he is the there to be the finisher. The only problem I do have is that his active skill is so weak. Um, now, obviously, we did decent damage. We finished him off. He was on low HP, so it's not exactly a huge uh, accomplishment. But um, I just wish it was a lot more powerful than it is. 600... Jeez, Kid Gohan has 900k defense. That's, uh, I think that's pretty good. I would say that was pretty good. So we're going to get the Dokon attack here with uh, Ultimate Gohan. I think we are actually, I can't believe after all of this, I think we're actually not going to get the Super Saiyan 2 transformation with Gohan. Because now that we've started cooking, we're, we're doing too much damage. Um, hopefully this does... Okay, there you go. I was going to say, hopefully this does enough. Although it doesn't matter because we're going to heal from the Dokon attack, man. I'm, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to not hit any of the nodes so we do as little damage as possible with the Dokon attack. So that we maybe are still under enough HP to transform with AGL Gohan. Because not getting to transform with him would be so disappointing. But then, unfortunately, even with not hitting the nodes, <laughs> Gohan still did 10 million damage. So I'm fairly sure we are getting a full heal um, <laughs> at the end of the turn. So, uh, I guess it is what it is. Um, this kid, Gohan, is going to be close to a million defense. I know he's getting support from in future Gohan, but, yeah, he's going to be close to a million defense on his next appearance, which is pretty crazy. Alright, so, I'm guessing we get a full heal, yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, all I can really hope for, we took 500k on a unit that had 600k defense in the first slot. So if I do this and he supers in slot one, I'm just going to die, which is obviously not what we want. Um, I guess the only thing I could do, I could pop a Whis, um, but then, I mean the Whis obviously is pointless if he doesn't super. But like if he supers Gohan in slot one here, I'm pretty sure Gohan dies, right? Because the physical Gohan that took a super last time had an extra like 150k defense and we still took like 500k. So, I'm just going to have to use this and hope that he super attacks in slot 1 again. Which is not something you would usually hope to happen, but this is what I'm hoping for. No, he didn't. Okay. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> that means we have a Whis active for the next turn. Now, Cell in the last turn does hit pretty hard, so we could still get below the HP threshold here. Especially when we have units like Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Um, what's his defense now? 600k. Yes, yeah, so even without support now, Kid Gohan's at 868, which is pretty crazy. Um, so let's do this. Drop down these 
physical orbs. I think we are actually, you know, I'm going to try. Can I not get super effective? Uh, it's not, I, can't, I can either not get super effective or not super attack. So I guess we have to do that. And then we'll do this. So the Whis is still active. I guess best case scenario is he super attacks Super Saiyan 4 Gohan at the end. Because then we should still take quite a bit of damage. Because I think with the amount of defense that Ultimate Gohan's going to get from his super attacks, I don't think he takes any damage. And then, of course, he supers Kid Gohan. So Kid Gohan, after his super, now has over 900k defense, type advantage, and a Whis active. So, <laughs> and then he dodges the normal attack afterwards. Of course he does. Well, I guess we are uh, not going to see Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in this, uh, in this run. I feel... Very let down by this. I mean, Cell does have a lot of HP. And of course, now Gohan gets the additional supers when he's uh, super effective. So actually going to do tons of damage. Oh, and then gets the triple super turn. Okay. <laughs> so, I think... Are we at the point now where it is literally impossible to get the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan transformation? Because Gohan's on the next turn. And then we won't see him again for another couple of turns. So, I'm not actually sure if we're even going to get this rotation back again. Hmm. And also, future Gohan definitely could get me killed. <laughs> this is awkward. I think what I'll do... Hmm. Let me do this. So, let me Whis here. I'm going to try a bit of a weird strategy here, just because I really want to see... Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So, you've got 470k defense and we have a Whis active. So he should survive a super, right? Actually, it probably does still make more sense to do this. So I'll do this. And then I'll do this. And then... Do I need to super with you? Oh, well, I can't super with you anyway. So, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, so the Whis is active. Um, if he super attacks either of the Gohans in slot 2 or 3, then I think we will take enough damage to get the Super Saiyan 2 transformation. If we can get back to this rotation again, which is uh, in itself going to be a challenge. Oh, he's not super... Uh, is he going to super future Gohan? Oh, he did 100k per normal with a Whis active. Oof, I'm kind of glad I... Uh, Kind of glad I um, used the Whis. That's, uh, if he'd super attacked, that would have been slightly different. But Okay, so I don't want to get too many same type orbs here. I also want to try and make sure I get... Um... I don't want the ultra super for you. Well, that's not super effective and we're not getting 20 keys, so I think that's fine. And then you're not going to get your 30% damage reduction. What do you get for 5 orbs? Tons of performing a crit. And he does get a little bit of extra defense. So I think... What's his defense at the start of the turn? 158. Yeah, I think if if he gets super attacked, we die. But... Which... I'm, put, I'm playing it really tight here. Really risky just to try and get the uh, AGL Super Saiyan 2 Gohan transformation. I don't know if this is going to... Uh, if this is going to come back to bite me at all, but he didn't super at all last turn, which is kind of crazy. If he super attacks Gohan, Gohan's defense is high enough that with the Icarus, I keep saying Gohan as if not every single unit on the team is Gohan. If he super attacks um, Ultima Gohan in the middle here, we should still live. Oh god, he's going to super attack Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, isn't he? Uh... All right, chill. Don't kill him. Oh, he didn't super. Are we at the right HP? Come on, please. We must be. Yes, let's go. <laughs> All right. We managed to do it. <laughs> oh, it took some uh, it took some doing, but we got there. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Oh, I hope they do, like, the required app update or whatever it is they need to do in order to uh, make it so they can change active skills for uh, these transforming units. Because, man, I want to see that ability more often. Like, it's just so cool. But we never get to see it. 
So here we go. Let's uh, grab these same type orbs. And then it's a good thing he didn't super in slot one, actually, because even with the type advantage, we might we might have died. <laughs> but there you go. How fitting to finish off the uh, perfect sale with the father son Kamehameha. There you go. There's Gohan. He's all tuckered out. We did the whole stage with a full legacy of Gohan team, every form of Gohan on the team and we actually managed to get them all in the video so we had to stall it out a little bit and do some shenanigans but we did manage to get all of the forms in the video so i would consider that challenge run successfully completed so let me get the result screen up here we did obviously have to use the items we used the support memory but it's a pretty uh a pretty janky team but we managed to get it done in the end so shout out to uh, everyone who wanted to see this i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know any ideas you have for future challenge runs down below in the comment section um it seems like with only the easy a's for the blue vegetas coming out uh there's like nothing else going on in the game at the moment so uh probably going to be doing some more challenge runs and stuff like that i'm working on my own version of like a randomizer type thing but I don't know, it's not going to have a big colourful spinny wheel, so I don't know if people will care as much, but I guess we'll see. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one!